In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, St. Teresa, pray for us. St. Isaac, Yogis, pray for us. Well, I was just thinking about St. George, Catholic Church in Post Falls. I was thinking how uh, they're still so connected to the material, including the clergy there, the priests there, and the people there. And they really um, kind of have a schism going on in there, really. And there's a lack of holy love and, and just free charity and giving. They kind of form these little tight cliques. And they want a lot of, their cliques want things that aren't really what God wants. And so there's this push and pull. And I've seen it myself. There's kind of like a lack of charity. And I consider them like on a spiritual life support where they need help a lot of it. And there's, there's a lot of slander, lying, rumors. But we know that even in the Spokane Diocese, the priests talk about that. But this priest, he doesn't want to stand up. He doesn't want to um, ruffle any buttons of these girls in the church. And it's basically a cowardliness, really. Uh, not wanting to speak the truth. And so there's perpetual lying. And, and like I said, it's hit me too, where there's um, kind of revengeness going on with the girls. Not, not everyone in there. I'm not saying everyone. I'm just saying, like, there's a weird hierarchy girls that have kind of taken over, and it's not good for the church. It's, and it's resulting in slandering, especially this identity theft. Where they want to try to try to recreate your image when you go in there, or they try to um, pigeonhole you into a certain category. And that's the biggest problem that church has. And they do it for their own self-interest, because they don't want competitors. They see the inspiration of the Holy Ghost as competition, not joy and, uh, and love and giving. They see it as taking because of their minds. They've, it's kind of perverted. Like they feel like they, because they want to be tops. And we have to do the litany of humility. Everyone knows in that church. And get on your hands and knees. They have to start welcoming people of all, all different uh, gifts. And welcome them with open arms. Not just see them and say, well, hmm, I'm, you're kind of threatening to me. So I'm kind of jealous of you actually. So I'm just going to like, like, you know, push you down in the church and tell you what you are. And the, unfortunately, the priest kind of is latched into that nonsense. We got to free them from that nonsense. And it's kind of a, it's a lot of bloodline curses, really. This was going on in Idaho for years. Because like I said, Idaho, it's kind of like, it attracts a lot of gold diggers. And there's a lot of that going on. But it, there's also, um, they, they've lost the spirit of the Jesuits that have come in. Jesuits from my school, my alma mater, Gonzaga, they've lost that spirit. Father Cataldo, Father DeSmet, they got to come back into the original the original uh, plan of tradition and devotion and, and giving and love and be less selfish and less jealous and love people for who they are and welcome them in the church because if you push them down and try to kick them out, the rocks will scream out, believe me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.